Misbehaving is certainly not uncommon. Happens all the time at home at the grocery store. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa joins us now with some tips on how to best deal with this unruly situation. Jocelyn? Well, I talked with a child psychologist who tells me the adult dealing with it should redirect that monster moment. That's what I called it when I had it at home. Then confronting it head on. The cell phone video captures a three-year-old boy having a toddler moment at daycare. Why don't you call her on my telephone? If threats are made... You shouldn't make empty threats with, with children of any age at all. Child psychologist Dr. David Abrams says go through with it. If you fall through and do it the first time and the second time, there's no reason to even make the threat the third time. They know you're going to do it. I showed the video to Dr. Abrams, the clinical director at the Clifford Beers Guidance Clinic in New Haven. Taunting a child, he says, is not the way to go. Adults already have power over children, so there's no real reason to get into a power struggle with a small child. Dr. Abrams says it leads to conflict and makes a child feel bad. Instead, redirect the behavior. Every afternoon, some, some kid's melting down the lobby, and I, I mean, somebody's always going to get involved, and it's like, oh, come on, come with me, let's, let's go... Look at this, look at that, what about this? Oh, that's interesting, did you see the birds? Oh, oh, let's go sit down again, and it's gone. Time out and positive reinforcement works best. You give them time to think about what's going to happen next, and then you give them the opportunity to do it and to get a reward for that behavior. Redirect and reward the behavior you want. Dr. Abrams tells me that boys tend to engage in power struggles more than girls, that girls generally seek relationship, boys power.